As the coronavirus spreads, so does misinformation. Chris Stewart went straight to the experts to get answers about transmission, treatments, and what products are effective in killing the virus. Let's set the record straight on coronavirus. The CDC says symptoms of COVID-19 include fever, coughing, and shortness of breath. Symptoms can appear between 2 and 14 days after exposure. While doctors draw comparisons to the flu... Coronavirus is also interesting because it doesn't seem to be quite as infectious as common influenza. Dr. Shauna Gully with the large health system Centra Health has worked with coronavirus patients during this outbreak. Many of those people are quite well and have very minimal symptoms and do not need additional interaction with the healthcare system. But... We do believe in people that are perhaps older or have multiple medical problems or anything that makes your immune system weaker, that coronavirus may be more dangerous than influenza. Dr. Gulley says it's still unclear why coronavirus has been mild in children. So what do the experts say you should do? First of all, the worry about going and getting toilet paper. I don't think that should be first and foremost on anyone's list today. And while it is important to be prepared. We are seeing people come into our environments and take soap, masks, and other supplies home to try to stockpile in their homes. One of our hospitals actually had all of their soaps and hand sanitizers stolen last week. Speaking of hand sanitizer. The myths around putting it on your body or on your face is where we get into trouble. Those things are not safe for people to do. The CDC says people at a higher risk should avoid crowds. Dr. Gully says it's a good idea to keep your space. We believe that staying about six feet away from somebody with symptoms is the most protective space. As the number of cases grows in the U.S., public anxiety may be growing with it. So don't fear communicating if you're dealing with another kind of medical issue. If you're an allergy sufferer, I think it's important for you to talk to others about the fact that you have allergies and for them to be a little bit more assured that you're not infective, you have no fever, you have no deep cough, and you have no risk factors for coronavirus. But if you are experiencing any of these symptoms, the CDC says call your doctor.